going out back, out back to Australia. I'm going out back, out back to Australia. See you there. G'day, it's Tero here from Sunland Caravans. Today we're going to look at this beautiful 16 foot van, so a little bit smaller than our normal size van. This is the 16 foot Blue Healer Pup, or also known as the 16 foot Blue Healer LT. We can name it either one depending on what the customer chooses. This one has got a couple of little extras on it, but we're going to run through this van inside now and out start at the front. So, first of all, we've got our electric jockey leg here. This is an option on this model. These, these guys have decided to go with this, which makes it a little bit easy to get the van on and off your tow bar when you're pulling up and setting up. But of course, it's still supply the manual tech manual jock leg as well. A ratchet handbrake and a DO35 hitch on the front. We've got our aluminium checker plated powder coated gelding toolbox on the front here as well. So plenty of storage. We've got a gas bottles on one side and pure storage on the other side. The construction on this van is a composite sandwich panel cross construction. So we're talking a sandwich panel for the walls, front, rear, the roof, and the floor. It makes it extremely lightweight. It is weatherproof as well. Um, so hail and all that sort of stuff like that. pretty much resistant to all that. This actual van weighs 1,900 kilos exactly, and has an ATM of 2750, so we have an 850 kilo payload on this little van, which is pretty awesome. Come across to the side here, we'll see this custom decal, which I absolutely love. This is what the customer's chosen to have himself. If you see this van out in the wild, be sure to go and ask them what the meaning is behind that decal, because they have got a different meaning behind that as well. We start here, we'll look at the tunnel boot. So a nice big tunnel boot. They've decided not to have a barbecue fitted by us. Instead, we've fitted this big tray here where they could fit an external kitchen or a barbecue or just use it to fuel storage. On top of that though, we have got external gas bayonets here and we have got hot and cold water taps just underneath here. So plenty of um, stuff out here to be able to cook. We've got a 240 external power point and a table so you can have your, your barbecues, your sinks, your, um, your induction cooktops, all that sort of stuff all out here, which is excellent. We've got an electric awning on this one as well. Just makes pulling the awning in and out a lot easier and a lot quicker. Double windows like we do with most of our models. We've done that in this pup for these people as well, which makes it look very much like a Sunland Caravan. We've got our external um, speakers, marine speakers, the TV bracket, your TV hatch here, which gives you your 240, 12 volt power, and your um, antenna connections. Rear entrance, as you can see as well. We'll have a look around the back of the van. It's a little bit different up back here. So we've got our normal aluminium pole carrier, which is also powder coated with a nice hammer tone finish there as well. Pole carrier meaning got storage in there, but it also has your, your tail lights and your number plate integrated into that as well. No hatches on the back in this one. We have got a rear window though, you don't see that too often with this layer um, requires it, so that's what we've got. Hot water system, so it's a Gerard instant gas only hot water system. Pretty much the same as in all our models. And it's come around to the side here. There's not a lot of to get on this side either, but we have got our toilet cassette and we've got our water fillers and mains water pressure. This, this van is also fitted with a gas heater as well, which is the gas heater outlet there. Um, nice and neat. Let's have a look inside the van. Okay, so now we're inside the van. Like I said before, it is a 16 foot van, so obviously the layout is compromised when, when we come inside, but it still pretty much has everything you need. It's got a queen bed, it's got a separate shower toilet, it's got a, it's got a kitchen, it's got a lounge with a table, we've got a two door fridge, we've got a TV, we've got all the bits and pieces we need, but just in a slightly different configuration of everything else we do. So if we start here, this is our bench, and, our bench. Not a lot of room here, but still enough room to put a portable induction cooktop, your sink. You have got a decent table here on the dinette, so you can utilize that as well. All our electronics controls sit back here. So we've got a hot water system. We've got a water gauges. We've got a, a water pumps. We've got our inverter and, um, and battery controllers there, charger controllers there. We've got a battery monitor, all our lights, our electric awning, and our electric step control. In this cabinet below here, you'll see we have our power. So in this case, we have two 150 amp hour lithium batteries, as well as two 200 watt solar panels on the roof. We've got an inverter, we've got our charger and everything built into there as well. That will change in the future, but this one still sneaks in before the new battery regulations. This one here has got some additional storage, plus our water pumps and water fittings. So a lot of people don't think about this. When, you, when we change our layers and go small, we have to relocate all the components. So that's why, in this case, they're all underneath here, where they would normally be in a rear hatch in our other models. But I think it still works quite well. The compromise you make if you're going smaller is you have to have those sort of things, but then of course the van is a lot lighter and a lot smaller and easier to manoeuvre. Up here we've got our stereo and our breaker switches, so a 240 and um, solar, solar isolation, plus another overhead cupboard there as well. The bit I want to talk about is in here. So it's not a shower toilet combo, it is a shower toilet, but it's not a full ensuite. 
It's sort of somewhere in between. So if you have a look at this, I'll step in here. This is the toilet. I don't know how well Malcolm will get this in the video, but we've got our Thefford side cassette toilet there. We've got a Constantina door that closes in here so we can be isolated from the rest of the van. But if we walk through here, we'll go into our full size fire glass shower, which I'll hop out of the way so Michael can get some footage of that. The only thing this is missing really is a vanity unit, but you use your kitchen sink for that. Let's come and have a look. So it is our normal full fire glass shower. Very spacious, very light. And then as we come out here, we start walking down the van. We've got our dinette. So in this case, it's just a bench seat because that gives us better walking around the, the ed edge of the van. This van's really only designed for two people anyway. We've got our Tommy table table here, which gives you the options to be able to slide it back and forth and drop it down to get it out of the way when you don't want to use it. Again, lots of windows all over the place, overhead cupboards. If we come around to the side here, we've got two big pantries. So plenty of storage. Actually, there's a lot of storage for a little van in this van. See all that there. Plus we've got our two-door fridge. In this case, these guys have gone with a three-way fridge, but 12 button press fridge is also available. It's 190 litres, metal shelves with the, the little um, rack there to stop things sliding off the rack, um, shelves, which is excellent, and your freezer. Around here, you can't see this yet, but I'll warn you in a second. We've got our TV, so we can twist this around so we can watch the TV there, LED TV, and then we can twist it back towards the bed so we can watch it when we're in bed. We've got 12 watt fans, Rocco fans either side of the, um, the van here, so plenty of airflow. We've also got a um, hatch here and a hatch here. These are the fantastic hatches, or well, Max Van Deluxe hatches, sorry. So we can pull the air in, uh, push the air in, or suck the air out. Get a lot of airflow here when you do want a free camp. As we come up the side of the bed here, this is a Queen Innerspring. It is an 1880 mattress, so it is a little bit shorter than our traditional mattresses. Luckily, the owners of this van aren't particularly tall. You can fit a bolstered mattress to make it up to the 2030 if you wanted to do that in this size van as well. Overhead cupboards, this is pretty much the same as our bigger um, blue healers, but we've got our shelves in one side, hanging the other, depending what the customer wants, plus drawers there as well. And like I said, when we're outside, we've got our double windows. So even though this is only a 16 foot van, it actually feels quite big and definitely very livable, which is fantastic as well. I mentioned earlier, this has got a, a, a tear weight of 1.9 tonne or 1,900 kilos and an ATM a 2750, so 850 kilo payload. That is on Sunland's aluminium chassis and it's using Cruise Master XT suspension as well. So this is still an off-road caravan. Should be able to go pretty much anywhere you want. It can obviously be towed by some of the four, smaller four-wheel drives, which is excellent. All right, if you like this van or you want some, any information on any of our vans in our range, please visit sunlandcaravans.com.au. If you like, like our channel, please subscribe so we know what, what people are actually watching these videos. Uh, please like this video if you like this one. If you'd like some more information other than over and above what's on our website, please um, feel free to come in and visit us. Make a booking with myself or Michael, and we'll be happy to show you through the, our factory and all the different products that we make in our range. Have a great day. So tell your friends this place that you have found And tell the world it's better than it sounds Say so come and see our country's best by far You'll find me there, Where? out back Australia I'm going out back, out back Australia I'm going out back, out back Australia Where friends they will shake your hand Say good day. They'll wave as you're passing through. They'll help in every way. But most of all, they'll welcome you. And one day you will say, I'm going out back, out back Australia. 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 See you there.